welcome into Rock Painting 101. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna do um, a single brush stroke style tree. So really quickly, I'm just gonna put a little trunk down here at the bottom on my rock so it has a second to dry while we're prepping our paint. Now we are going to have to practice our patience during this style of tree because you're gonna to wanna to let your layers dry in between. So you can either do um, a handful of these all at once um, and kind of work your way across the board or just have something else that you're working on at the same time just so you're not rushing. So there'll be a lot of panning forward and dry time in this video, um, but you're gonna see this is such a really fun way to paint a tree and it's actually pretty simple to do. So what you're gonna need is some brush with a kind of square edge on the top of it. And then I have just like a little lid, plastic lid here that I'm gonna use. I just wanted something that was white on the bottom so you'd be able to see. I've got a lighter green and a darker green. If you don't have both, you can make your green lighter with a little bit of white if you need to. And I'm just gonna place down a dot of my darker green and then a dot of my lighter green right next to it. And then we are gonna load up our brush. So to load up the brush, we're just gonna kind of dab it on one side like this, okay? And then we're gonna flip, but make sure you're turning so that you're dabbing the other side so you keep your light on one side and your dark on your other. Just like that, get a little bit of paint. We're gonna kind of load up our brush like that. And now right next to it, this is dry paint. So this is not going to get on there. I guess I can kind of get this out of the way so it doesn't accidentally end up in our design. Sorry, I should have taken care of that first. Okay, so now right off to the side here, we're going to brush our brush back and forth a few times here, just to kind of load up the paint and to kind of get a little bit of a blend to our paint on our brush. But we're still nice and loaded up back and forth and I'm turning this because it's hard for me to go back and forth over the top without hitting my camera. So just like that and get a little bit more paint. Do it there again. Back and forth. So we have a nice loaded brush. Now when we come to do our tree we want the light end to be the tips because it always be darker inside of our tree. So with our nice full paintbrush here we're just going to start where the edge of our tree would be, light side out or down, I should say. And we're just gonna make kind of a wiggly line all the way across in one direction. Now, I don't like to stop going this way and I'll show you, I'll flip and come back just a little bit. So this is the widest area of the tree. So we're just gonna kind of swoop, swoop like that. Now I'm gonna flip my brush and come to the other side, still light side down and take and swoosh, swoosh, swoosh across my tree, like that, okay? Now we have to let this dry before we do our next layer. Um, so this will take, like I said, a little bit of dry time. So if you wanna do multiple rocks, maybe I should have gotten a second rock out to do more than one rock here at the same time as well, just because it's kind of fun to do. Let's see here. I have, one. I have this white rock this might show up really good on here I'll have to come back and do my stem I already washed out my brush so load it up and just do it again here so I'm on the screen so dab 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 to get a little bit of paint on here swipe 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 so it's loaded and again light side down and we're just gonna swipe Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm gonna flip so that I get a nice edge on the other side, just like that. All right, now we gotta let this dry and then we're gonna do our next layer. Okay, so as this was drying, I noticed I could still see my trunk out of here. And also I wanted to have 
a little less of the light green. I kind of just wanted the light green to be the tip. So I'm actually gonna come back in here and reload my brush a little bit further in that direction so that I end up with a little bit more of the dark green on there and just the tip of it being lighter. So let's go in here again and reload our brush. We're gonna go a little further with that dark green on our brush so that we get more of the dark green. And I'm just gonna do a second layer here as well because I really don't wanna see that chunk all the way through like that. So again, light side down. We're just gonna do the same thing. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here as well because I just want more of the darker green. I just more wanted that to be a highlight at the tip. So I'm gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle. And flip. Come back the other way. There we go. And let's, did we come back the other way over here? I don't know. So for the next layer, what we're gonna do is the same thing. We're just gonna move up our tree a little bit, start on the edge and do the wiggle across. We're gonna make it a little bit inward. We're slowly gonna be coming to a peak on our tree. So you wanna overlap it just a bit so that you get that edge. So again, start from one side, flip over to come back from the other. just like that and we're going to continue this process of adding our layers here slowly drawing a little bit in between and working our way up our tree and they will start to layer so you don't have to worry too much if your top seems a little opaque because we're going to layer on top of that Next layer up here. Make sure we get plenty of that darker green. Load up our brush. And same thing. A little bit more. As you can see it's really kind of coming together there starting to see it take form it's funny normally I like everything better on these white rocks but this one is not Maybe it's because it's so much smaller. It's kind of hard to get the shapes exactly how I want them to, to be. I probably could have used a smaller brush on that. But again, just like any other technique, it can take a little bit of trial and error to get exactly what you're looking for. You could practice this on a piece of paper as well um, if you needed to. working our way towards that peak. So you're gonna overlap just the littlest bit over that edge, but for the most part, you want to keep going towards that point, just that little bit over, just to give it a shape. Okay, we're pretty close to the top here. I need just the littlest bit more paint on my palette here. And we will be finishing this one up. brush here one more time.
here. Now when you're working on the top, you're gonna do more of a triangle shape. So we're gonna have the tippy top of our tree, pivot out to the side just a little bit, but we're gonna kind of be keeping that tip in the same spot. And we've sort of done that along the way, but just at the top, you wanna be extra careful to kind of get that nice point at the top of your tree. Let's see if we can salvage this one down here. Stump. We started him without a stump. This one almost reminds me of like alcohol ink for some reason. I'm gonna be extra careful with my stump now since this is the solid color at the other end. I'm not super worried if I go over it. I can easily touch up with my green. But I'm gonna get in here and really just try to give just the tiniest little peekaboo stump coming down here. Something small. Leg to stand on. Like that. And then you can even have it kind of come out to the side a little too. So it's a little bit more realistic. I can add that on this one here too, since it won't touch the actual green. Now you could decorate your trees for Christmas if you want after the fact um, with garland or lights. Or you could even do some snow on the tips. Whatever you want to do. It's just a fun little jumping off spot. Something different uh, for you to try. A new technique um, for in your arsenal. I know a lot of people are doing one stroke flowers where they take the colors and do flowers like this as well. So it's just something fun to play around with. Um, get you a little out of your comfort zone. It definitely is something different and new for me. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We have loads more trees uh, tutorials on the site, so I'll link to that at the end. And we'll be back soon with something else fun and new for you to try. Bye-bye.